is if that they can show that that $15 million that this guy got came from SBF basically raiding the piggy bank of user accounts, he's going to have to pay the money back. Hello guys, welcome back to Christian Finance for your regular financial content. And today we'll be covering Watch a Math Palikapatia, as well as really all the Owen podcast guys have to say about FTX, Sam Bachman fried as well as Kevin O'Leary and what they think happened and what they think should happen. And of course, I'll give you my own personal perspective on what's going on as well is if that they can show that that $15 million that this guy got came from SBF basically raiding the piggy bank of user accounts, he's going to have to pay the money back. The, the people covering for SBF, it, it continues to be an absolute joke. And yeah, I agree with Shamath, the money really should be given. But unfortunately, it really won't be, right? It's just not how it works. They declare bankruptcy. Now at most, people that invest their money there and now lost it, might get back pennies on the dollar, if anything. That's just how it works, unfortunately. Same thing with Celsius, Voyager, Blockify, any of these exchanges, you have any money on it, the best you're gonna get is pennies on the dollar. And I do keep emphasizing this quite regularly, guys. Not your keys, not your crypto. All your long-term crypto investments really should be on a cold storage wallet. And really the two best options are the Trezor and the Ledger. I personally like and use the Ledger, but either or will work. I'm not going to put a link for it to get paid on it. I just want to let you guys know, use it. Yes, it'll cost you a hundred bucks or so. And yeah, you're going to have to spend a bit of time learning how to use it. But at the end of the day, next time a crypto exchange falls, you're not going to be one of those guys that it's potentially going to lose all their money or almost all their money, right? So in the grand scheme of things, it really is a small price to pay at the end of the day. Yeah, and as far as Kevin's concerned, I 100% agree with your math and think that he should pay back the money. The 15 million that was given to him and i mean kevin did say that he lost the money that ftx gave to him but did he really was it given to him in an ftt token or was it given 15 million in a bank transfer right that's a question that we don't know because if it's on the exchange then he really did lose it but if it was just bank transfer to him then he walked away with 15 million dollars on top to promote a product in exchange to you guys that was fraudulent managed poorly and is now currently bankrupt. And this guy is supposed to be a great investor and someone that people look up to. For what? So he can walk away with potentially $15 million on top. Absolute craziness. Keep in mind, this is the same guy that two and a half years ago was saying that crypto and Bitcoin are garbage and that the industry will never make it, right? Give a guy like that $15 million and watch him go completely 180. Promote something that he completely called a scam just two and a half years ago. You can't make this stuff up, guys. With that, I just want to take a quick second, ask you if you guys are enjoying the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for regular content such as this one. There's nothing right now that I'm promoting to you guys. Only thing I ask, guys, just hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I mean, despite all the craziness that occurred in the last month or so with FTX, for example, the Bitcoin price has not changed. And that just goes to show you that an exchange falling or multiple exchanges falling that are centralized and non-regulated does not infuse the idea of decentralization and what Bitcoin stands for, especially in these times that we're living in right now. Remember guys, it's not financial advice. Do your research, make sure it's a high conviction play first, but Bitcoin, crypto, it's all here to stay. Most of altcoins not, but Bitcoin, it's here to stay. I'd always recommend to you guys before you invest, make sure you have an emergency fund of at least a thousand dollars. Do your research, make sure whatever you're investing in is a high conviction play. And if you're going to invest in something like Bitcoin, right now is a good time in the grand scheme of things. The price is a quarter of the price compared to where it was a year ago. If it's money you're going to need in the next five years, don't invest it. Otherwise, once again, if you've done your research and it's a high conviction play for you guys and the price is down, that is statistically the right time to buy and hold. With that, guys, the video is over. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what other similar content you'd like me to do next in the financial space. Once again, subscribe to the channel, guys. It does help out. And as always, stay diversified.